today we are back in the Lona Bay and we are looking rock looking rocks <laughs> are we looking rocks we are looking for rocks we're hunting rabbits I'm talking here <laughs> we are looking for rocks for one of my subscribers Kelly who lives in Timmins Ontario just above us a few miles well, about six six hours and we will be looking for some epidotes some banded iron some unikites some all kinds of fun stuff so stick around and hope you have fun <laughs> got a hole in it. Oh, cool. I'm crushing your head. Oh, I'm no. crushing your head. I'm crushing it. Oh. Crushing. Crushing your head. I see something great there. Don't know what it is. I'll have to dig her out. Nope, nothing. Close. Close, but no cigar. And I see a nice piece of banded iron. Right there. That's not too shabby. Yeah, first rock of the day, Cal. Penny likes to go along the sh on the uh, on the dry part, up on the shoreline. I like to look in the water first, and then come back and look out the other look at the other areas. So this is um, just past the Lona Bay area. We like to come here looking for all kinds of nice stuff. But with all your rocks and shale, you can build little fire pits and things like that. <clears throat> what this is great for is skipping in the water. Cool. This area doesn't have a whole lot of stuff, but it's always good to look in the little spots where hopefully nobody else looks. Maybe climb on some of these big rocks here. That's mostly uh, shale out there, sandstone. Ugh. What are you? Nothing. Got to find some shoreline with some smaller rocks. Of course, these are always fun to climb on. If you don't fall in. It's a nice piece of nice with a G. People that don't know anything about rocks would go, where does the G go? Goes at the beginning. Ooh, I see a piece of banded iron. That's a nice one. Cool. I was looking at this rock here, because it looks pretty cool, and I think I just found another piece of banded iron. Uh, no. Maybe I'll record it this time with my phone on. But here's a piece of epidote. There's some unikite. That's a nice piece of epidote. Very nice. That's awfully red. I 
Might, might be nice for a tumble. There's a nice one right there, but I think it's pretty large. Oh, it's not too bad. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that one. Now that's a piece of unikite. But, it's a little large. Won't be taking her home, sorry Kelly. But she's pretty. Now here's one that caught my eye. It's not banded iron. It's what I call the, the painted rock. If I can show you, find another example of it, I'll show it to you. But it looks like somebody has been painting on the on some of these rocks. They're really, really cool. Just found Penny, and she found some banded iron and a few more rocks. We're gonna get them wet and have a look. It has the letter S on it. The letter S. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. It's like a piece of chert in there or something, but no, it's not. That's just, uh, I think sandstone or something stuck in there. And Penny found you an agate, Kelly. Not much of one, but I imagine if you maybe cut the end and trim off the side, you might see some banding in there. There's some banding right at the bottom. Cool. That's a nice nodule. Oh, I'm not sure if I found another agate for you. Hopefully. Ooh, got some nice banding in there a little bit. I hope you have a saw and cut her open. Oh no, you don't have a saw. That's right. So I will cut this open for you. Cool. This is one of those painted rocks I was telling you about. I tumbled a couple and uh, they don't polish very well, so. But they look pretty cool. All right, so I think we're gonna move on to the next place. So we are now just down the road, um, looking here for some possible agates, banded iron, unikite, epidote, hard to say, mostly, hopefully agates. Nice little leg it. Penny found that one. See a tiny, tiny bit of purple. Kind of a little bit of a druzy inside. That's neat. Nice piece of chalcedony. Oh, buddy. Nice. Awesome. might have something juicy inside it too. I will cut it open for you. Looks pretty good. Might get lucky there, Kelly. Okay, we've been stuffing our pockets here. Let's see what we got. All these, a lot of these, you can't tell until you cut them open, so I will cut them open for you, Kelly. 
and then that way if you got yourself a nice agate we're good to go nice little nodule and then nice piece of unikite usually don't find too much of that here where we are that's a pretty one I like the line through it big stripe oh sh I wasn't recording <laughs> I just recorded all that stuff and I wasn't recording anything. Oh my god. Anyway, look at the rocks you got, Kelly. They're really cool. I just showed nobody because I wasn't recording. Son of a... Okay, well, I'll show you too when we get home. We're going to head out. So we're not going to be able to hit that other beach today. It's going to be getting dark soon. And we're going to try to make it tomorrow. If not, I got a bunch of Apidote, Unikite, and Banded Iron at home that I could send you, no problem. But uh, it'd be fun to do it live. So uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Just ran into a couple of subscribers from Bradford. Hello. This is awesome. Well, we're stranded. There was a head-on collision just around before the causeway at uh, Haviland Bay. And we are at Harmony Beach right now. We were able to uh, pass a couple of cars and kind of squeeze in here. This is a, a beach area. Let me show you. This is where everybody usually comes to uh, hang out and do some swimming. This is Harmony Beach. It's a beautiful area. Very calm tonight. But yeah, we're stuck here for at least four to eight hours, I guess. Head on collision. I guess some there was one fatality. It's really sad. Don't like when stuff like that happens. So we will be here for a while. But there's no rocks. It's all sand, little pebbles. That kind of sucks. At least I'd spend some time, a little bit of time rock hounding, but oh well, we get to see the beautiful scenery. Lake Superior looks like there's a storm coming in. So we built a little bit of a bonfire. Watch the sunset. It's gonna relax for a little bit, stay warm, and uh, hope for the best. So there's three more bonfires down there. Well, we are still here. Got a nice roaring fire. Stranded on the beach. Unlike the other five miles of traffic, as you can see, way down there, that's more stuck traffic. It's just everywhere. Well, they said lemonade out of lemons. Yeah, this is the best way to be stranded ever. Good thing we were close to the beach. We were able to turn in really quick, so that worked out really nice. But we'll be here for a bit. So it is 20 to nine and we'll, we are still here. <laughs> Those lights down there are traffic. And uh, penny off. <laughs> voted Penny off the island. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully this clears up. It's been what, five hours now. Yeah, yeah. So I'd hate to be stuck up on the highway with <laughs> sitting in a car for five hours. Yeah. I don't know why there's not a lot more people down here. It's crazy. There's just three fires down there, and then uh, us. Nobody else come down. It's crazy.
don't know what they're missing. Well, we almost got past the accident, but we we're about 10 cars back and we've been here for an hour and it's almost 10.30. So we were pretty burnt out from last night. It was uh, quite the adventure. Unfortunately, the accident, there was a fatality. It's, it's just uh, it's a sad thing. But luckily for us, we got to enjoy a little bit of time on the beach with uh, Penny and her sister and um, had a nice bonfire and made the best of our, uh, our time. So we won't be going back today. I don't, we don't have to, I have like tons of rocks, but we did find you some really, really cool stuff. There's gonna be a lot more than this I'm gonna send. I'm gonna probably pick out, well, I'm definitely gonna pick out the best of the best. And then uh, I'm gonna send you some really cool stuff, uh, some extra goodies that you're gonna love, I think. Well, but for now, I think the cool stuff we're gonna send is absolutely this guy. A nice beautiful agate. And there's another nodule here. Got a few more here. Piece of chalcedony. Can't see because of the sun. My bad, sorry. Here's a nice piece of unikite. This one's really neat. I like this one. This little bumpy guy. And I remember that you don't have a saw, so um, I'm gonna cut some of these open for you. Make sure there's agate inside. That would be so awesome if there's a big chunk of agate in here. In here. So I will do that for you, sir. There's a nice nodule. And uh, there's gonna be lots of other goodies coming your way. So I hope you enjoy them.